This Remembrance Day, as is tradition, Australians will observe one minute silence at the 11th hour. We will pause to honour those who served, suffered and died in war and armed conflict. As we do, many of us will recall the iconic features of the Australian War Memorial. The Pool of Reflection and the Eternal Flame. The Hall of Memory and the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and the role of honour that records more than 100,000 names. The War Memorial is a national symbol of duty, sacrifice and loss. But it is by no means our only place of commemoration. War memorials, both large and small, can be found in almost every city and country town. Today, I will be thinking about the memorial in Kalgoorlie, Western Australia, where I was born. The Kalgoorlie Fallen Soldiers Memorial welcomes you as you depart the train in Kalgoorlie. A bronze statue of a first World War soldier in the on guard position sits atop a granite column. There is an inscription, to our glorious dead. Local memorials provide communities with a profound and intimate connection to the past. Residents carry the flame of the memories of the fallen keeping them alight for future generations. Kalgoorlie's small but equally important memorial is a place of association for many Australians who served in past conflicts, including more than 300 soldiers who fought in the First World War. One of those soldiers was Private George Bennett. George attended the Kalgoorlie Central School prior to taking a job as a clerk at the local commercial bank. He enlisted in 1915, aged 19. He became part of the 28th Australian Infantry Battalion and saw his first action on Gallipoli. George was among the first Australian soldiers to head to the Western Front in 1916. The marksmanship he developed at the Kalgoorlie Rifle Club saw him attached as a sniper to the 7th Brigade. But after only 18 days in France on the 8th of April, Private Bennett was killed in action at an observation post. It was the first morning that Australian forces went into the trenches at Armentier. Poignantly, Mrs Bennett noted that her son was likely the first Anzac to fall in France. Private Bennett is buried in France, commemorated in Kalgoorlie and immortalised in name on panel 112 at the Australian War Memorial. On Remembrance Day 2021, he will be in our thoughts. As long as Australians remember our fallen, as long as we keep carrying the flame, we will never forget who they were. And if we never forget who they were and the values for which they fought and died, we will have a guiding light as we venture forth into the future, lest we forget. <laughs>